Welcome to our ROI calculator training. Setpoint is a full service engineering company that specializes in the design, build, and controls programming of turnkey custom automation solutions. Our video goes through our return on investment calculator and helps explain how you can determine the benefits of an automation project. We've got Joe, our finance guy, and Clark, the sales guy, who are going to walk through the calculator and show you the benefits of your project. Set point, this is Clark. How can I help you? Oh, you bet. We do have an ROI calculator on our website. Have you tried it out? Yeah, it's great. Uh-huh, sure. Yeah, not only can it help you with your return on your investment, but it can also help you understand your long-term financial benefits of doing the project that you're going to be analyzing. And it can also, more importantly, help you convince your boss and the finance group of uh, the payback on your project. Oh, yeah. Huh, no, I totally understand for sure. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. All right. Bye-bye. So I encourage you to take the time to go on our website and play around with our ROI calculator. Not only is it going to help you understand the benefits financially of the next project you're doing the calculation on, but it's going to also, more importantly, help you convince your boss and the finance group of the potential payback and benefits of going forward with this project. Good luck. Call us anytime you need some help. The ROI calculator is a way for our customer to measure the quality or the value of the automation tools that we're providing to them. If you look at the inputs first, uh, you have an estimated equipment cost. Really, that is the total cost of the automation that, the, that they are putting in place. But the automation equipment cost or the estimated equipment cost should include not just what we charge them, but all the costs, installation, support, everything associated with getting that equipment put in place. Uh, we're going to put in one point two five million or a million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for that piece of equipment okay and that's cheap oh it's a bargain yeah, yeah you know I you know you'd be crazy not to buy that yeah, really for sure now the second thing you want to do is figure out what the annual benefit is financially so how much are you gonna save when this equipment is up and running so let's assume the annual benefit on this particular piece of equipment is seven hundred and sixty seven thousand dollars the next thing we want to measure is how many years are we going to be able to use this equipment and get that benefit Pretty simple number. Five years is what we're going to use for our example. How long are we going to be able to use the equipment on the product that we're producing with our automation? Okay, got it. Okay, now the last line on there is uh, that we need to put in is our annual minimum interest rate. Really what that represents, Clark, is the minimum amount of return that you need to get on your equipment. For our model that we're using today, we're going to put in 12%, which is probably a pretty good rule of thumb number for a lot of businesses. Okay. Now once we've got those numbers in, we hit return and we process and we can get a report. And the report will give us three different results. We'll get a net present value, a payback in years, and an internal rate of return. Now, shockingly, this particular project is a no-brainer for your customer. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Yeah, really. I, I mean, wonder, we could I wonder have, if we cooked the numbers there on that one. No, I'm, I'm just saying that, you know, usually, very rarely do our, uh, does our equipment not provide a great investment for our customers. First, let's talk about net present value. This is the one that can be very confusing to some people, but it's really quite straightforward. Now our results here is 1.5 million. And what that is saying is, if I take the initial investment that we put down, the 1.25 million, and I put it in this investment and get the returns that we've estimated, the 767,000. If I put in the annual benefit of 776,000 for five years, what that is saying is that I will generate in today's dollars, 1.5 million dollars more than I would have made over those five years if I had just left it in a 12% investment. Now the second measure we have here is payback in years. This is very subjective and, and frankly as a financial analyst we don't like payback because it doesn't consider the 12%. It just tells you how long does it take to get your money back. Well in this case it's a five-year investment and we get our money back in 1.63 years. Man, so everything after that's gravy. Exactly. Now finally the last number is the internal rate of return. And simply put, this is a calculation of the percentage return that this investment yields. So what we're saying is if you invest that money, the $1.25 million, on this particular project, you will get a 54.3% return on your money. There's a lot of automation that we produce that can create those kinds of returns when you're talking about all the different savings that come from it. Uh, when you take it into account, you can make great returns on this equipment. So that's the real trick, isn't it? Figuring out the return. Because at the end of the day, if we can help our customers become more profitable, you, 
are more successful as a salesperson and we at Setpoint are more successful as a business and of course our customers will always be more successful. Hi, I'm Joe the Finance Guy at Setpoint. Thanks for viewing our ROI calculator training. If you'd like more information or like to learn more about how to use the ROI calculator, feel free to contact Clark. He loves to get calls and he would be happy to help you with your ROI information. And remember, every day is a great day to learn about finance.